Twilight Princess is the first, uh... It's the first dungeon after you pull out the Master Sword, and it has to do with Pose, and that's kind of the same thing with this one. Twilight Princess is very, very alike to this game. I do not like that. It could have been a... Could have been a little more, um... Original, I guess, but I guess that could be why Twilight Princess is my second favorite video game. I mean, second favorite Zelda game. My second favorite video game would probably be Kingdom Hearts 2, because that game is so fucking fun. I'm a, I'm a huge uh, Kingdom Hearts fan. I was about to say Final Fantasy. I don't like Final Fantasy that much. It's alright, but I would pick um, Kingdom Hearts over Final Fantasy any day. Any fucking day of the week. I think Kingdom Hearts just outclasses Final Fantasy in every way. Okay, so this is the um, the room right before the uh, the twisty hallway. If you remember, the t twisty hallway is right in that door there. Uh, what we want to do is shoot the eye here because we got a bow now. Or arrows now, sorry. Whatever, whatever you want to call it, you can call it whatever you like. I call it arrows. My mom's still standing out there. What is she doing? Whatever. As you can see, it straightens the hallway. So there are two things we can now newly do. One of them is fall in a hole there. And the second is get the boss chest. This, this hole and the boss... This hole and the boss chest were both on the wall, I think, before we shut the thing, so it kind of shifted the room, I guess. I don't know. It's more Zelda logic. It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't have to. Eh, okay. Eh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hmm. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Never mind, I was, uh, just thinking something different for a second. Okay, let's get these, uh, stupid things here. Jump back here. Hey, Deku Baba, what's up? What's up? What's up? I want your uh, Deku Stick. You know, I can't use him as an adult. I just like Deku Sticks a lot. What are these guys called? I forget. I think they're. Oh! Uh, exit. Hold on. Press the wrong button there. I think this is Floor Master. Okay. Ah, I missed two of them. Whatever. If you let one of those guys grab onto you, and I think they, I think they suck out your magic. But yeah, if you let them do that, then they'll grow back into the bigger hand, and all three of them can do that. So if you let them do that, you have more guys on your hand, and they kind of, kind of gets annoying. So I like to kill them quickly with a spin attack as soon as they break apart. Okay, now we got a small key. So now. We don't have anything else to do here, so let's use Ferrari's wind to return back to where we set the warp point. It's very handy when you want to backtrack like this. Like this much. Uh, yeah? Uh, yes please. Oh yeah. <laughs> really hot in here? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel it. Uh, that was my mom asking me if I wanted a cup of water. She's gonna be, she's gonna be back in about a minute. So, okay, now you see there's a frozen eye here. There's two things you can do. You can, sh you can stand on one of the platforms and shoot through that torch to light your arrow on fire and melt the ice, or just do the easier way and use Din's fire. I prefer to use Din's fire. It uses quite a bit of magic, but hey, it, it's, it's way easier. And what it does, <coughs> hold on. What I think it does is that it actually twists up that hallway. Oh, fungical sticks. Alright, thanks, man.
Yay! I got a cup of water. Wait, hold on a second. Oh no, this is the one with the with the ladder. Okay, okay. That's it. Okay, so um, hold on. Just gonna jump onto this platform. Jump onto this uh, thing here. Yeah, yeah. Link the acrobat. I don't think that's the right word, but yeah. What hidden that um I did was twist up this hallway, so that now we um when we come to this room we're on a bit of a different side, I guess you can say. Hold on. This door is still here, though. I'm curious about that. Hmm, interesting. Still leads back to the same room, but now we can go in this um. In this little hole here on the ground. And this leads us to a checkered board. Yay! With a falling ceiling. I think um I think Chicken Little would really freak out if he was ever in this room. Anyway, there's Yeah! There's little holes in the ceiling that you can uh stand in so that it doesn't crush you. As you can see here, there's little spaces. Let's get to this chest here. Ah! Oh. Okay, good. Wrong side, wrong side! Oh! <laughs> that was pretty close. Yeah, let's go back here and just open the door. And now this is where we go to fight the third of the bows, but getting this bow to come out is a little bit different than the other two. What we have to do is shoot this one picture and then solve a puzzle. Okay, there are four pieces that make them up, and the fifth piece is basically just bullshit. Yeah, the fifth piece you just want to take right out of the way because it doesn't mean anything or do anything. And unfortunately, it is right in my way, so I'm gonna move that. Yeah, this is a very easy puzzle though. I remember when I was a little kid, I used to have lots of problems with this. I really am not sure why. It's such a simple puzzle now. Now that I'm a bit older. Whatever though. I think what happens if you don't do the puzzle on time is that it resets itself and you just have to do it again. But it, it gives you a little bit more time to make it a little easier for you, which honestly is fucking retarded. But there we go, we solved the puzzle. I'm gonna have a sip of my water and. Come on, bastard. What you got? I'm gonna go all Harry Potter on your ass. Come on, come on. What you got? I got, I got a horrible British accent. That's what I got. Come on! Come on, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker. What you got, motherfucker? Oh shit. Are you serious? Come on, come on. Come on! Come on, man! There we go. Fudge! Okay, this guy doesn't. This guy really doesn't like appearing for me and getting hurt. Fuck! Why did I have to sidestep? Just appear for me already, please. Getting kind of bored of. Well, not bored, just annoyed of this. There we go. Finally. How did I know that I only needed exactly one arrow to max out my 30? I don't know. Okay, now that we have killed three of the four ghosts, so what we do is that this door will bring us. Uh, hold on. Give me something. No? Okay. This door will bring us back to the first room, or not the first room, but like the, the elevator room. And right by the elevator here is where we fight the fourth ghost. You see he's just uh, chilling out there, maybe playing some Call of Duty, I don't know. But yeah, as I told you before, this fight is completely different from the other ghosts. Okay, the thing with this one is that only one of these ghosts that appears real 
And the, the way you know which one's real is that the real one always does an extra spin after the other ones. So you just yeah, and you have to shoot him with your ball. You can't use your sword. It doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, it's a very, uh, very easy fight. And I don't, I don't think it changes up at all. So you just keep doing this till he's dead. Very, very easy boss fight. So you should stop giving yourself away like that, big boy. It makes it pretty simple. There we go, and that's finished. And what did you drop for me? Arrows. Arrows which I probably won't be able to get because I'll probably disappear before this cutscene's over. It's not long, but that always seems to happen to me for some reason. No, I actually got him. Alright. So now we can take this elevator down to the depths of the forest temple, the basement. This is the final room before the boss and the gimmick with this room is that it has a bunch of walls that move shift so it's kind of annoying but no oh, I pressed the wrong button shit oh well as you probably heard that there's a gold skull tool in this room I just killed it with dense fire by accident. So I'll just uh, I'll just collect it, I guess. You destroyed a gold school tula. Okay. Oh you got a bundle of arrows. How much is that? Ten? I don't know. Let's see, is there anything on the other side? Nope, that is just a wall. Stretchy again. This part, fourth temple, is also pretty slow. The fourth temple, personally, I think is just a very slow temple. Sip of my water. Oh, uh, that is some very non tasty, refreshing water. Right in here. Yeah, here we press a switch, which will open a door, which. Open a gate to another switch, which opens like, another gate. <laughs> As you saw, the, um, the switch was on a red carpet, so. Wait, hold on. Yeah, so you want to move it back so that those things are on the red, one of the red carpets. Hopefully, it's one of these ones. Yes, it is! Haha. Uh -huh. I'm very smart, aren't I? And now you want these to go on a blue carpet. Because that's where that switch was. A blue carpet. I can't wait for the next temple after this one. The fire temple. Probably my second favorite temple in the whole game. I just love the fire temple. And I believe this is the final switch you have to press. Yes, it is. Now, just across from here, that opens the gates to the uh, boss door. As you can see, that is the boss key that requires... Well, that is the boss lock that requires the boss key to open the boss door to fight the boss. Boss. And this is probably my least favorite boss in the whole game. Honestly, like, this boss is fucking annoying. <gasps> They're so spiky. Holy balls, it's Ganondorf. You have to fight Ganondorf this early in the game? Really? Or is he just like care to say something? Or what's going on here? Huh? What? He has a mask? Really? Ah, oh, it's just Phantom Ganon. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, I'm not native. I'm sorry. Okay, what this guy does is that he goes into pictures, and he comes out of pictures, and you have to shoot him when he comes out of pic out of a picture, but the problem is, is that he always, you always see him coming out of two pictures, 
And one of them is fake, so you always have to guess which one's gonna be the right one. And if you take too long, and you don't shoot the right one, then he comes...